In this video, you'll learn five tips on how to shoot high quality videos on your phone, no matter what kind of budget you're working with. You don't need a Hollywood style budget to shoot great video content. With the right tools, you'll be able to create visually compelling content all from your smartphone. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm John here at Spiel Creative. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button and also click the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video to help you with your video marketing. So let's get started with our first tip. Choose the best phone for shooting video. These days, there are plenty of modern smartphones capable of shooting exceptionally high quality video. But if you want to shoot truly impressive footage, there are a few things you'll need to consider. First, let's talk about the crucial features you'll need. Optical Image Stabilization, or OIS, is a feature that reduces blurring caused by the motion of a camera during exposure. Basically, it's going to increase your video sharpness. There are plenty of great budget smartphone cameras out there, but shooting video with a 4K camera ensures you're shooting in the highest quality possible. There are plenty of smartphones to choose from that you can start with. Every iPhone since the iPhone 6 has been able to shoot in 4K, so you might already have the right tool for the job. Just keep in mind that if you're going to use one of these, you'll need unique camera apps like Filmic Pro to get the highest standard video. But if you're looking for something a bit more powerful, we have a few suggestions. The Sony Xperia 1 takes advantage of its triple camera setup to capture footage using three distinct camera lenses with exceptional detail. The Xperia 1 uses both optical and electronic image stabilization to keep those videos smooth no matter what. Looking for another recommendation? Consider the Google Pixel 4. With impressive stabilization features, this 60 megapixel camera phone manages to put its competitors to shame. And let's not forget about the LG V50 with its combined 41 megapixel rear facing camera and manual camera mode. You can easily adjust shutter speed, ISO speed, and everything in between. Now let's move on to tip two, choose additional lenses. So why would you buy accessory lenses for your phone? Well, let's say that you wanted to shoot in a wide angle or needed a telephoto lens for a shot. Instead of going out and buying a camera, you can just snap a new lens on your phone and get the footage you need. Take the Zenvo Pro, for example. This is a true wide angle lens with none of the vignetting or distortion you experience using cheaper models. Plus its clip-on LED light will outperform your smartphone's flash. Or if you're looking for something a bit more adventurous, consider the Shutter Moon Pro, which comes with 11 different lens options. If you want to add depth to your video content, these are the accessory lenses you'll need. Next we have tip three, get an external microphone. Let's just get this out of the way now. Your smartphone's microphone can't compete with an external one. Some smartphone mics are just low quality, while others might be omnidirectional, making it near impossible to shoot in a noisy environment. If you're serious about recording high quality sound that's crisp, clear, and cuts through the background noise, you're gonna need an external mic. But don't worry, external mics are simple to use and an easy way to increase the quality of your video content. So which mic should you use? A good starter mic is the Rode VideoMic Me. It's shockingly compact and this directional microphone makes capturing audio that much easier. Of course, we couldn't talk about external mics without mentioning the Purple Panda Lavia microphone kit. This clip-on mic is a great option for when you need to capture high quality audio on the go. So let's move on to tip four, find the perfect stabilizer. The phones we've suggested all offer their own OIS to aid with stability, but if you want to guarantee a steady shot, you'll want a proper stabilizer. If you're shooting in a studio or a single fixed location, a tripod is gonna be your best bet. The Ravelli lightweight aluminum phone tripod is a strong choice. It's durable and easy to use with a design that lets you tilt and pan the camera however you like. Now, gimbal mics and steady cams might seem similar to the untrained eye, but they have some key differences. Essentially, a gimbal mount uses motors and batteries to stabilize an image. A Steadicam is a weighted stabilizer that uses its center of gravity to stabilize the image. Not surprisingly, all those motors and batteries gimbals use make them significantly more expensive 
than Steadicams. So how do they compare when it comes to performance? Well, gimbals definitely offer more reliable, efficient stabilization. But if you're operating on a tight budget, a Steadicam can still produce great results when shooting on the move. And finally, we have tip five, choose the best video editing app. You've shot your video, you've got the content that you need, now all you need to do is splice it together. Now, you don't actually need to do this on your computer or PC. You can actually do this all from your mobile phone. So choosing the right video editing app is crucial if you want to create high quality content and engage your viewers. We've actually put together a great video on this already. If you haven't seen it already, there's a link down below in the description, so be sure to check it out after this video. If we have to recommend just one video editor for you though to start with, it would be Adobe Rush. Rush is easy to learn, easy to use, and great for publishing content quickly and smoothly, and is available on both Android and iPhone. So that's it folks, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you've got any more questions about shooting video on your phone, be sure to comment down below and we'll do our best to answer. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you subscribe to our channel for even more video content. Also, if you need more help with your video production, don't forget you can get in touch with us here at Spiel by visiting www.spielcreative.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.